Okay, drop to counter movement jump. So this is working on our ability to absorb force and then produce it. Okay, so we're going to probably use a bench is pretty good, right? You can use a box. Um, just don't start off really, really high to begin with because it's quite stressful on the body, so you want to get kind of used to this. So a bench is probably a good mark for you because you're quite explosive when we've done some jumping stuff. So what we'll do, stand on, hands on the hips for the cat movement jump ready, and then we're going to take the stop off. We're trying to absorb the force as quickly as possible and come out of that jump. Okay? So we'll take a step off, absorb, and try and really explode. Use that energy to get vertical. Okay? Not distance, but vertical. So I'll do it again. So we'll try and absorb the floor, come out and use that force. Okay? So drop. So when we hit the floor, we're not hitting locked, we're hitting slightly bent, use that absorption, then try and come out and get as much vertical force as we can. The first set you do this, don't try and get your max height, kind of get into it, do a set of just feeling that contact with the floor, then you can try and really push that force out of there. 